This is Jennifer Carroll's property. I'm in the like front side yard here, um, the main area. And we're going to be doing a quote for recurring maintenance. That's going to really just be um, taking care of the weeds in all the planter beds, pathways, and uh, next to the street. And then also removing uh, debris. This is a good example. So stuff like this, we're just going to blow out all of the rocks, all of the debris, and and um, Put that in the green waste right there so it's going to be recurring maintenance there is a pile of green waste next to this tree right here uh, we're not going to be taking care of that the client is having that done already things like these uh camellias where they are growing onto the property we'll use a, a pole hedge trimmer and just kind of cut it back so it's not growing into the gutters there's more camellias here that we're going to need to maintain and all these camellias really need is just a little bit of pruning away from the gutter and then clearance underneath um we're, we're going to let them grow on top um just grow naturally but here we're going to create a clearance so you could walk underneath them and there's a whole row of them here right here where we're just going to yeah just go underneath and just remove limbs that are in the way and that's it and then also the gutters let's take a look at that right here yeah, so just anything that's going over to the gutter, we'll prune back. Um, leaves, so this is a vegetable garden area. We're not doing anything in here, but all this area right here, we're going to be looking at spraying the weeds and blowing off the leaves on a regular basis. And before I go on to the front yard i wanted to get this area this is uh, going to be a separate line item on the estimate we're going to be doing a cleanup of this spot um we will need to do some grading they had the sidewalk installed right here so this soil is all piled up here so the client would like us to grade the soil back towards the fence so that here it drains towards the sidewalk pathway and then towards the front right there we're going to follow the drainage of this pathway and then um um, basically here we need to be about an inch below the pathway because uh, we need to put in after we grade it we need to put in landscape fabric and decompose granite in the whole area just to clear it up we're also going to do a quote for cutting down this tree um, and there will be a quote for stump grinding if the client doesn't mind the stump kind of sticking out here um, that's not a must for this project we could just cut down the tree but there will be a line item to bring in a stump grinder and grind all this out. For the grading, we are gonna use a skid steer and most likely we will have to remove the panels. They are nailed in, so um, it won't be as easy as if it was screwed in, but we'll need to remove the panel just to get a bobcat in here to grade all this out. Obviously the weeds, the branches, everything needs to come out. There's a little side parking area right here. And for this, also we have leaves and then these right here we want to come in and just regularly prune them back you can see they're taking up quite a bit of the driveway here so we're gonna prune it back pretty drastic so it's gonna uh, show look pretty raggedy at first hopefully it'll grow back in but uh, we'll take it back as much as we reasonably can so a car can be parked in here all these areas blow out debris these weeds right here uh, we need to maintain that keep the weeds out of here We'll be spraying this as well. A lot of weeds in the asphalt that we need to be spraying regularly. We will come in with a strain trimmer. Uh, every visit, a little bit of time, we'll use a strain trimmer to kind of, so it's uh, not a visual, uh, like an eyesore here. We'll use a strain trimmer and then rake it away and then spray regularly to keep all this here clear out. The property just all the way down to that redwood fence we want to maintain all this right here and that's it